He lived his life to serve all of us, and tonight, fellow police officers are remembering Officer Aaron Douglas, the Spokane officer taken too soon. He survived dozens of SWAT and bomb callouts and spent 15 years on the Spokane Police Department. But this week, he lost his battle with leukemia. Aaron Douglas passed away Monday, and this morning, he was honored by his fellow officers at the 4th Memorial Church. KXLY 4's Jeff Humphrey is live at the Public Safety Building, where Douglas will be greatly missed. Jeff. And Robin, that's because Aaron Douglas pulled duty in just about every one of the units this department has to offer. He was on the SWAT and explosive disposals teams and kept on working even after he was diagnosed with leukemia. I noticed in that truck right there, there's guys' cell phones in uh, plain view. When I get where I'm going, on the far side of the sky. If some people really are born to be police officers, then Aaron Douglas was one of them. He joined the police department's Explorer Group when he was just 14 and hired full-time as soon as he turned 21. He was a man who was really engaged, wasn't he? He gave it all, like his friends were saying, he was a 110% kind of man. Douglas wasn't satisfied with just patrol duties. He developed several specialties, working as a sniper for the SWAT team and one of their very few paramedic trained officers. Then in perhaps one of his most challenging roles, Douglas learned how to disarm explosives. He was very proud of being on the bomb team, and he should be. It's a very... Um, tough unit to get in. You really have to be very smart. Those are things that when a vehicle probably walks down the street and looks in the vehicle. As much as anything else, Douglas was a teacher. He wanted the public to know about protecting themselves from crime. He taught his fellow patrol officers about explosives. And those life-saving lessons are one of Douglas's legacies. Naturally gifted leaders enjoy mentoring and sharing and encouraging and those were all the traits that Aaron had. So he didn't keep it to himself. He was definitely one of the department leaders. Definitely. And these tragedies always seem to bring out the best in people. When Douglas was getting treated for his leukemia in the hospital in Seattle, Chief Ann Kirkpatrick gave his family the keys to our condo there so that he wouldn't have to stay in the hospital. During today's memorial services, sheriff's deputies actually patrolled Spokane area streets so more of Douglas's colleagues could attend his service. Aaron Douglas was 38. He is survived by his wife, Tracy, who is also a Spokane police officer. Jeff Humphrey, KXNY4.